G'day guys, Steve with Broken Sprocket. It's time to pull down the RM125 motor and have a look at the inside of it and see how good it is or how bad it is. So let's get started. Okay, we'll start by disassembling the top end. I also want to inspect the clutch, inspect these power reads, see what condition they're in. And uh, yeah, just go over the engine and see what we need to purchase and what we can save. Previous owner said engine had recently been rebuilt, so we'll find that out soon enough. So far, so good. The ball looks really good. Need to disconnect the power valve. I will need to give this area a clean up. Okay, to remove the cylinder, I've disconnected this power valve lever. There is a nut here, one there, one there, and one there, and that's all there is that holds the whole cylinder on, so then we can slide it off and inspect the engine pretty well. Now with the bolts loose, just get a rubber mallet and give it a very light tap, just to crack the seal. That should just about do it. Moment of truth here guys, what's this cylinder like, what's the piston like, and what's the bearings like? Okay, we need to take this little gudgeon pin out, the circlip. Get this gudgeon pin out. Um, normally just get a little screwdriver in here and pry that out, a little circlip. Okay, that's just a little circlip that holds the gudgeon pin in, or wrist pin, as some people call it. Oh, come on, come out. It's been a bit difficult. Okay, with the top end off and the piston removed, you can see the crank has already been replaced with a new hot rods crank. So that's a good quality crank. And there's absolutely zero movement in this bottom end at all. It, there's no side to side. There is supposed to be 
a slight amount like this but nothing like that that's not good this bit here is supposed to have just a tiny bit and it does have that there's no up and down movement whatsoever in this crank it is absolutely rock solid so maybe the owner did do a rebuild on this engine not too long ago because this is feeling quite good okay we're just having a look at the cylinder here I don't know how well the camera is picking this up but the cylinder has no scratches or scores or anything like that in it I'll just give it a light hone at the machine shop and the cylinder should be bloody perfect okay this is how the power valves work you'll see inside the exhaust port the valves go in and out closing the exhaust port opening it up on full power and so on delivering the power okay taking a look at the piston here there's a little bit of carbon build up on top which is fairly normal the rid looks in quite good condition um, the piston is in overall good condition there is one little gouge here it's very light you can't you can barely even feel it with your um, your fingernail so that's nothing I'll replace this piston get a new top end kit for this bike and uh, I'll leave the bottom end as it is because it feels really good and it does look like it's had a hot rods crank put in there at one stage so uh, that's a bit of a win and I'll replace the whole top end to make it fresh another thing I want to check are the reeds to make sure they're not split chipped cracked and or see-through so tear them off okay these reed cards look actually fairly good they're not split or cracked or chipped and they're folding back nicely so I'll stick with them okay I'm satisfied the bottom part of this engine is good I do want to check the clutches um, not in this video but in a later video check the clutches and make sure they're fine um, or replace them but I've come up with a pretty good win the owner did say that it was recently rebuilt when I took the bike for a ride it did go really really good it was actually the best thing about the whole bike considering the rest of the bike was clapped out looking and pretty terrible the bike actually went really well so I've had a I've had a win with the engine I'm just gonna send the cylinder away to the machine shop get them to hone this out I've given it a bit of a clean up in here and here but it will need a better one when I get it back from the machine shop a new top end kit will be in the bike and that should pretty much do the bike hey watch this video next or go to the broken sprocket video library and choose another top video if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button after all it's for free and guaranteed to make your day 20% better if you're already a subscriber and you're having a bad day just think it could have been 20% worse you can also follow broken sprocket on instagram so i'll see you in the next video